Today is a very significant day on the Jewish calendar. The Tainus Esther, the fast which precedes the Yontif of Purim. We know that the Arizal tells us, reveals a very great secret. That Yom Kippur is Yom Kippurim. It's a day like Purim that the Kedusha of Yom Kippur pales, as it were, in face of the Kedusha of Purim. And Yom Kippur, we fast, reach the level of Malachim, we spend all day long immersed in prayer. But on Purim, in the midst of joy and singing and dancing and eating and giving, we can reach even higher Madrega. I believe it's quite significant that the setup of Purim is the exact opposite of the setup of Yom Kippur. On Yom Kippur, first we eat. The ninth of ninth of Tishrei is a day of fast, a feasting, Suda. It's a, we have a mitzvah to eat on the ninth of Tishrei. And the Rebbein Yon explains in Shai Tshuva, it says, we're a Suda Sodo, it's, a, it's both to give us strength for the fast and to express our great joy over the fact that we stand to lose all our affairs on the upcoming day. On Purim, it's just the opposite. On Purim, first we fast and then we rejoice because Yom Kippur, Purim, as it were, is Tshuva Ava. It's coming back to Hashem with great love. And Tshuva Ava is a little bit, is harder to some extent than Tshuva Mi'ira. Tshuva Mi'ira person fears, naturally feels afraid of punishment, of uh, being punished and receiving retribution. But Tshuva Mi'ira, Tshuva Mi'ava, to come back to Hashem to Ava, as Rashi says in Megillah, that after the whole incident of Purim, the entire Jewish people came back to Hashem, because of the love of the miracle that Hashem did for them. It was not a revealed nes, it was a closed nes. To do tshuva mi'ava is harder than to do tshuva mi'ira. And therefore, first we fast. First we search our hearts. We try to clean our hearts out of, as we've been doing this entire month of, of other, to clean our hearts out from kina, taiva, and kavod. And any bad things, especially taiva, part of the point of a fast is that we should be separate from food for one, one day. And then from there we go into the feasting of Purim. If we just would go straight into the Feast of Purim, our perspective on food might be like it's a it's party time, it's just a feast. But if we first fast and we understand that we don't really, we're not so interested in stuffing our face. In fact, we're not interested at all in stuffing our face. The eating on Purim is celebration. It's a Mishnah Vesimcha. As the Mishnah Burr brings, Bialaka quotes um, that the, uh, I believe it's the Mayim Mordechai, but the drinking of Purim is a strange mitzvah because the Jewish people are generally sober people, not to drink. But we drink on Purim le Pursume Nisa to publicize the great miracles that Hashem did for us at the time of Purim. And therefore, it's appropriate to fast beforehand, to separate ourselves from food, realize we're not interested in stuffing our face. Yeah? We're not interested in having a chow down or a part, party time. No, Mishnah V'simcha is Pursume Nisa, to relive as it were, the suit of Achashverosh, and to fix it up, to metaken it. The way of the Jewish people is to go back into the situation and to fix it up in that way. As the Rambam writes, Eze Baal Tshuva Gemura, person comes to Oso, Saman, Oso Isha, Oso Malkam, the same place, and the same woman, at the same time, and he um, backs off from transgression. That's about Shiva Gemara. So, so too, we have to fix up the transgressions that were done by the Jewish people um, at the time of Achashverosh and Mordechai. And we do that by going back into the feast, by going back into the wine, by going back into the meat, by going back into the whole situation, fixing up. Instead of doing it um, for the sake of the, for the wrong reasons, we do it for the right reasons. And this is the idea of the Antif of Purim. And therefore, it's so appropriate that we have a fast day beforehand to prepare ourselves on this day of the 13th of, of Adar Shani. We prepare ourselves for the Yantar Purim by self-introspective, by looking deep inside our hearts and trying to understand what went wrong at the time of Akash and what we should do now to fix it up. Right? 
our whole perspective to food, our whole perspective to a party, our whole perspective to giving, it should be a perspective of um, of the Yant of Purim, the correct perspective. The perspective of Nishtav Simcha, Pursume Nisa, our whole intention during the Purim Suda should be publicizing the miracles of Hashem and to talk about them and to come back to Hashem with joy and to unite the Jewish people. When the Jewish people together, united, recognize Hashem's miracles, then that binds us together as a nation. Because the Kodesh Baruch Hu performs nation, miracles with the Jewish people as a whole. We, are, we merit to have miracles when we unite as a whole, right? In the days of Achashver, of Mordechai and Esther, we were united with Jews. And we come back to that situation. At this point, we come back to that situation. We're once again united. So we'll be Zeichah Bezrat Hashem to the miracles which the Gemara tells us will be even greater than the miracles of Yitzhak Yitzhak. Even greater than any miracle we've ever experienced before. The miracles that will happen at the time of the Gula, they should come quickly. And we need to be united. This is the most important condition. Don't feel, don't say anything bad about any Jew. Don't think anything bad about anything Jew. Call Masech Hashem Shemayim. This is what Gershon Elstein said by the mayoral election of Jerusalem. He said the three most important rules of politics. Don't think anything bad about another Jew. Don't say anything bad another about Jew. And call Masech Hashem Shemayim. If we follow Rav Gershon Elstein's rule now in this time of world chaos, uh, we can be Zeche, Mizrat Hashem, to the Gula Shlema, by all the Jews uniting together, coming together. This Purim, it should be a Freilchen Purim for the entire Jewish people. And we should be walking up this ramp over here very soon. It should no longer be a ramp for the Arabs, this ramp over here. It should be a ramp to be leading up to the base of Migdash. It should change the status of the people going up from Arabs to Jews. We should be walking into the base of Migdash and serving Hashem as we're meant to by bringing Karbanos, Al Zvachim, Al Psachim, Shibazoikh this year, it's been the Korban Pesach, Amen Kenyatsah.